Hey everyone, I'm Matthew here from my self-publishing blueprint.com and in this week's Kindle tip, I want to talk about what to do with your back cover. Ebooks are pretty straightforward. You get your, your, your graphic designer, your cover designer to do, the, to do the flat ebook cover and you're good to go. But what do you do with your back cover? What do you do with your spine? What do you put on them? I would definitely recommend don't leave them blank. And when I say blank, I'm talking just the white space, not having anything covering that. That's just a bad idea and it's gonna end up leaving the negative reviews. So there's really three different options that uh, I look at when I'm doing my books. The first option is taking the description from Amazon and sometimes I'll just copy and paste that exact description and have my cover designer put that onto the back cover. They play around with the formatting a little bit as well. Or you can put the bio of either yourself if you're using your own name on the book, you, uh, your, a bio of your pen name, or you can do a mix of the description and the bio and uh, see what you kind of like best. A third option really depends on if you have a, some sort of image on the back side, on the uh, front side rather. What you can do is you can have your cover designer take that image and just have it wrap around the entire book. So it, it gives this book a nice, nice feel to it that the front is flowing right into the back. And leaving the, the back with no words on there is perfectly fine if you've got a great looking image on there that you really want to show off. An idea if you're kind of stuck on what to do is go hit up your local bookstores and just start picking up some random books. Look on the back. Look how it's formatted. What do you like? What catches your eye? Look at the actual physical books that are in your niche and see, hey, what really stands out? What's more eye appealing? Take a picture of it with your phone, send that to your, your cover designer and say, hey, I like this, can you kind of make that work? I know I've done that in the past before and it just has done wonders for just how the overall look and feel of my books is. I hope this Kindle tip was helpful, helpful to you. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications so you never miss another Kindle tip. See you next week.